Currently, there is a storm developing in the Gulf of Alaska. And so today I'm gonna to be preparing to deal with that storm as it reaches the south central part of the state. And I know that's what many of you come here to see, is to see what I have to deal with here in the cabin and around my property um, from whatever Alaska throws my direction. But over the course of the last few years of me posting videos, many of you have become fans of Kenai and have asked for more videos, including him. So today he has graciously agreed, right? You did agree to this, didn't you? You're not sure, but you did agree to it. He has graciously agreed to take the camera and show you what life is like around the cabin in a typical day through his eyes. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'll talk more about the storm as we get into the video. But for now, I'm gonna turn the camera over to Kenai and let him show you what his day is like here in this remote area of Alaska. No, you just want cuddles? You don't gotta go potty? No, you know I can't get up if you're doing this right. You don't care. Good boy. Okay, you can have more after I get make my coffee. The wait till I finish making my coffee. What do you hear? There's nothing. You don't hear anything. You don't hear anything. You hear something? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <coughs> Fuck. 
15 minutes later. What? No. Mom says that she doesn't love me no more. That's not what I said. I said there's a storm brewing outside. We need to go get ready for the storm, okay? I'm not going for a ride. Nope, no harness. You can't go bye-bye. <laughs> As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the National Weather Service has put out a warning that there is a storm system developing in the Gulf of Alaska that is supposed to make its way north. It's actually supposed to be a series of storms that will last for a period of about four days, dropping between 30 and 50 inches of snow over the course of time. So in advance of that, Kenai and I are spending the afternoon taking care of our daily chores like we normally would. But sometimes, you know, I have a tendency to maybe put off one thing or another thinking, oh, I can get to that tomorrow. But knowing what is about to be at our doorstep, we're taking care of all of the daily tasks today. So that includes things such as emptying water buckets, um, emptying the composting toilet, bringing in water, and also bringing in firewood. The firewood is essential right now because with the last storm, the power was knocked out for almost 24 hours. This storm is supposed to be at its strongest overnight. And so if the power goes out overnight, I wanna make sure that I have a fire going in the wood stove because it's also supposed to bring with it the temperatures as low as negative 30 overnight. And so to keep the cabin warm and make sure that Kenai and I are safe, I will be bringing in a couple sledfuls of firewood. And yes, I will actually be bringing the sled right into the cabin. I find it's easiest, it's the quickest method of getting this firewood brought in um, and filling up the wood storage bin. And Kenai, while he's putting up with me doing my chores outside, You'll find, though, that he gets bored of my chores rather quickly once we make our way inside. get in the car? You gonna get to go bye-bye?
go for a walk? Yeah? All right, let's go. No pulling. No pulling. <sighs> what do you want? You want to go outside? Let's go outside. Want to eat? Want to eat? Okay, let's eat. Let's go get food. Oh, I can't get your food if you're doing this. Let's go get your food. Come on, let's go eat. You know, you're a spoiled brat. You know that? You're spoiled. I don't know any other dogs that are getting liver put on their food. No, they just have to eat their kibble. But no, you're spoiled. When it comes time for Kenai to eat his dinner, he gets special treatment. He, right. I wouldn't say that he's a picky eater, but I will Here, say that he's ahead. a picky eater. Um, so he gets fed kibble. I don't feed him wet food at all. I never have. Um, but I have always introduced he another flavor good. in with his kibble. But over the course of, I would say, the last bit, year or so, he has no, gotten to the point where he could care less about the kibble. And all he wants is whatever it. that addition is. Currently, it's dehydrated Daddy, liver or freeze-dried liver bits that get crumbled up over his food. Sometimes it's bacon strips that get crumbled over. Sometimes it's ghee, so clarified butter. And at other times, it might be some bacon fat, bacon grease, if you will. But it doesn't matter what it is. Eat your food. Lately, he's just been no. eating those extra bits no. or uh, licking the kibble cookies, clean so of whatever fat I might put on oh, it. And then eating about half the kibble and leaving the rest. He only eats once Don't a day. No. Um, probably because he gets his fair you amount like? of cookies okay, throughout the day. I tried. Hey, you need to go potty first. You didn't eat your dinner. No cookie. Let's go outside. Come on. Let's go. All the way. No, we're not taking a cookie outside. We are not taking a cookie outside. No. Give me the cookie. Give me the cookie. I don't want your paw. I want the cookie. Let's go outside. You can have your cookie when you come inside. Come on. No. Go party first. Two seconds later. What's this? Is it? You want this? Okay. Go. No, you're not going outside with a cookie. You didn't even eat dinner, and you're going to get cookies? I'm going to have to find all your hiding spots. Okay, come here. Come here, let me take the camera off. Come here, you can stay outside, but give me the camera. Come here. In my socks, walking in the snow. <laughs> Nikki, I want you to do it again, but I, when you come up, I want you to go right here, okay? I want you to curl up right there. Come on, let's do it one more time. This time you curl up on the top of the bed. Come on. Come on, one more time. I want you to jump up right here. You need to come right to this spot. Not like that. You don't take direction well.
Did you wash your face off? Huh? Did you wash your face off? Did you get a cookie, huh? Okay, let's go. All the way. All the way. Go down the stairs. Let's go, Mike. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. No, we gotta run to the door. Run to the door. Run. Oh, yeah. I'm coming. Are you ready for your close-up? I didn't mean that close. <laughs> close them. Close your eyes. No, nay, nay. We're gonna we're gonna pretend to sleep. Close your eyes. Go sleep. Well, I think Kenai deserves an Academy Award for his uh, performance in today's video. A lot of what you saw in the video, he did on his own accord. Uh, right on cue as if he knew exactly what was going on. Other times I had to give him a little bit of direction, but uh, if you know Kina, he does not like the camera. So just the fact that I got him to do any of this with the camera pointed at him or me talking to the camera was pretty amazing. Right? <laughs> so I will be sure to keep you updated on how the storm develops and how much snow I wind up getting out of it. But until the next video, if you would like to see more of Kenai, be sure to check out this video here. Until next time, please stay safe and take care. And I hope you enjoyed those outtakes as well. So I'll see you on the next one.